Right, so in this video, I'm going to go through practice questions from topic one, electrostatics. I've put a line through the questions that are not going to be coming in the exam for you. So I'm just going to focus on some of them. There's 14 pages. I won't be able to get through everything. Uh, but I'll do what I can. So looking at this, which system has the most negative charge? If you look at all of them, you will see that this is going to be overall negative 2. So I will have a minus 2 here. 3 electrons and 1 proton, so that's minus 3 plus 1. That's also minus 2. 5 electrons and 5 protons, they cancel. Five, minus 5 plus 5 will cancel. N, meaning any number, and N minus 3 protons. So that means any number. Let's say I had 10 electrons. It will be 10 minus 3 protons, which basically means I have overall charge of negative 3. Any number of uh, electrons, I have less, 3 less protons. So this is always going to be the case. So that will end up being D. The unit for charge we, of course, know is Coulomb. Uh, over here, which of these is correct charges? This is uh, basic stuff. Hopefully everybody understands electrons are negative, protons are positive, neutrons are neutral. That should be pretty easy. When you do place two protons near each other, if you placed two protons, plus and a plus, they will, of course, repel. There will be a force. Coulomb's law, funnily enough. There will be a force, and they will accelerate, because a force makes a mass accelerate. So they will always accelerate, in this case, away from each other. If they were opposite charges, plus and a minus, for example, they will accelerate towards each other. It will never be constant speed. So make sure you don't accidentally answer that. There are many questions that do try to trick you with this. If there is a force involved, there is an acceleration involved. So question seven is when you are giving a positive charge, remember, one of the most important things is protons do not move. They're too big and heavy. They will stay where they are. It is the electrons that are moved. So you're looking for not positive charges transferring. Uh, you are looking for negative charges that are transferring. So you know that it's not going to be A, you know, it's not going to be a dependent or not. Negative charges are transferred from the plate to another object. That looks nice because what's happened is here is my plate. I had negative charges and I had positive. I removed the minus. If I remove the minus, of course, all that remains is positive. So this makes sense. If I added minus, then of course, that would be the opposite. So keep that in mind as well. And this obviously, like charges repel and unlike charges attract. Okay, not so difficult there. Um, over here, which the following is true? Uh, the same idea. We can say that uh, like charges, well, that's wrong. Unlike charges attract, neutral object gains electrons, it should be negatively charged, so that is wrong. If it loses, it becomes positive, so that is correct. So out of this, we have 2 and 4. Skipping this, because this is not going to be coming anymore. So next, you're looking at the sphere. So if you remember, we did this before. You have a minus 6 and a plus 2. They touch. When they touch, they will separate, not separate, they will... Um, join together. They will cancel out a little. So you have the minus 6 plus 2. They touch each other. Overall, minus 6 plus 2 is minus 4. Once they've touched, they will separate. They will separate. And they are evenly distributed. So if they separated equally, it will be half and half. So this will be minus 2, minus 2, each one. So then you can quickly answer that right here. B. Amazing. So, looking on here, how many electrons does it take to make this one coulomb of charge? This is a formula you do need to know. It's a simple one. Q equals NE. In this case, I'm looking for E. So you can rearrange, uh, not for E, sorry, because that is a given. It is the, n the number I am looking for. I can shift solve, I can rearrange, it doesn't matter, but I know I have one coulomb of charge. I'm going to take my number, what I'm trying to find, I'm going to take that, and I'm going to multiply that by the charge of one electron, 1 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. Uh, rearrange that, I'll just do divide both sides, and then you will get the answer. If I will do 1 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19, uh, and that will cancel that side over there. Once you solve this, you should get this number here. We did this in class. 
And that is 6.24 times 10 to the 18. Next, a glass rod is charged and we are removing electrons. Same formula, Q equals NE, done. Once we've done that, what we're going to do is just find the charge. So number this many electrons, 13 times 10 to the 10, multiplied by 1.6, just like before, not going into the details, it will be 20.8. If the electrons removed, that means it's positive. If they were added, it would be negative. All right. A negatively charged conductor. So what's going to happen? It attracts something. Okay. So it will be a positive charge, a, a conductor with a positive net charge. That is good because it will attract. If there is no net charge, yes, it will also attract. It will polarize. I will polarize from one side to the other side. So that will work. An insulator will also work. Some people don't believe that. But if you remember, you take a balloon and then you attach it to a wall. You rub it on your hair and then you stick it on the wall. It will stick to the wall because it will do a small amount of polarizing. It will just do a little bit of polarizing. So, yes, it will actually work for all three of them. So that answer will be D. Okay. Two spheres sitting there, what will they do? So in this case, like I mentioned up here, polarization will occur. If one of them has a charge, the other one will be polarized. So yes, they will attract each other. Okay, very good. Question three over here, this is the, I guess it's the same ideas, yes? Polarization, I'm not gonna go into the details, you can read through it yourself, but it will be polarizing again. Keep that in mind. So another neutral ball, same thing, polarization, what does that mean? They rearrange the electrons. Cancel that one, cancel that one. Uh, over here, again, this is all about rearranging as usual. So there'll be no net charge, but it will be polarizing. Because this is negative, the pluses will be on the left and the negatives will be on the right over here. So that's why the answer in this case would be C. Um, over here, so what you can see that, uh, same thing, this is a minus rod, which basically means if I had electrons here, they will run across to the other side. All the electrons will build up but two. One will just be plus. So that means it's asking me for conductor two. We've already just said it. It will be negatively charged. Conductor one will be positively charged. Uh, if you feel I am rushing or going a bit too fast, you can always pause and rewind the video. Um, but in future, I will try to make more and break them up. But this is uh, a lot of content to cover. OK, uh, here we go. Looking at this, the spheres, same thing with the rod, just like in the previous question. Take your time to read it, and it is going to end up being this is minus, so this must be plus, this must be minus. So that means B would be the answer over here. So now we have this one. So you have th it's the same idea. One of them has a lot of uh, extra charges. Which one? A. And it's extra electrons. So extra electrons. So this is negatively charged, fully negative. If that is the case, this side will be plus, this side will be minus. So which picture represents the distribution on sphere A? On sphere A, I've already kind of drawn it here, it must be this one here. It will be fully negative. So we will say for this case, C. Then it says, which one is for B? Again, I just drew it, plus and the minus. So plus on the left, minus on the right. Where is it? Here, number four. Okay. And then there is more things about this charge idea. So what is going to happen? Just like in the previous one. So you will realize that uh, when you do bring a negative balloon, plus here, minus here, separate, same thing happens. OK. Uh, skipping all of electroscopes, they will not be coming up. Now we're moving on to Coulomb's law. So what I will do is I'll stop that there with the electrostatics, and I will start another video for Coulomb's law.